Ifa from the U.S. Uh, my question is about the updates that talk about um, forbidding women from traveling alone. From so what? what if, from traveling alone. Okay. So, um, what if a family member drop, her, um, drop the woman off in a city that's about one hour away from home, um, and then they did not pick her up? Um, we should be sinful because they went there, um, she went there with the family member, but they drop her off for like school or something like that. So let me understand your question correctly. The family, the mahram, drives her or drops her at her destination and then leaves her at her destination to study or to work or to visit and travels back alone. And she stays there without a mahram. Is that your question? Yeah, but they're going to pick her up if she's going to the city. They get, see, um, she, if, she, if she's going back home again. Okay. I will answer, inshallah. If I says, what's the ruling if my mahram takes me from point city A, which we're, where we're re, we reside, to city B to study, and he leaves me there? The answer is, this is permissible, providing that staying there is safe for you and that you're living in a, a segregated uh, um, accommodation and that there is no danger upon you or on you. Then she says, okay, what about if I want to go back? The answer is, you cannot go back. Someone has to come and pick you up. Because the hadith is crystal clear. It is prohibited for a woman to travel without the company of a mahram.